5 Shopping Districts in Tokyo Tokyo is one of the most exciting cities in the world, and it's packed with shopping options. Here are 5 districts that are sure to keep you occupied. Ginza Ginza is one of the most popular shopping destinations in Tokyo because it has a bunch of stores that sell clothes, fashion and other things. There are a lot of storefronts here which both Japanese and foreign visitors know about and come visit to look for cool items. This year, a new shopping mall called Ginza 6 opened and Ginza has really started to attract attention from tourists. Now you can find loads of stores for both cosmetics and household items too. Looking for high-end products. The best place to go is Ginza Wako, the department store right at the intersection of 4th Street, in central Ginza with the clock tower. This is a well-known department store with a 70-year history. There are other well-established department stores in proximity, like Matsuya Ginza and Ginza Mitsukoshi. If you're looking for mid-range fashion, Tokyo Plaza Ginza is the best place. There are various stores lined up in Ginza's main street, including fast fashion brands such as Uniqlo, H&M and Zara. Yurikucho is a great place to go shopping in Ginza's neighborhood area. There are lots of interesting, limited-edition grocery stores with tons of delicious food from around the country. Shinjuku Shinjuku Station in Japan is the busiest one in the country and has a great array of stores every kind of shopper needs. From luxury to bargain, from teen to adult, from books to clothes. If you're in the market for luxury brands, Isaten is the department store to visit. And if you have a much looser definition of luxurious, let's say high fashion brands or big conglomerates like Tokyo Hands or Uniqlo, Takashimaya's selection can't be beat. Along Mosaic Street between the Keio Department Store and Odaki Department, there are also several interesting places to stop by. The Keio Department Store, Odaki Department and other large shopping complexes are located on the west side of Tokyo Station. Lumen East, which is connected to Shinjuku Station's East Gate, is very popular among teenagers. Lumen 1 and Lumen 2 at the west gate of the station also attract their attention. The newly opened Tokyo's largest bus terminal, Busta, also has a fashion building in Iwaman. They focus on mature women with the Lumen concept. Shinjuku Marui Honkin and Shinjuku ALTA offer many trendy items, while also being at reasonable rates. The east side of Shinjuku offers some of the best shopping options and is perfect for everybody. Ikebukuro Ikebukuro is one of Tokyo's lesser-known spots, but it's a great place to shop. There are a lot of electronic stores near the east side of the station that have competitive rates, such as Big Camera and Yamada Denki on the east side. Big Camera Ikebukuro PC store offers the best products for PC and peripherals. If you want to find the best deals, Big Camera Ikebukuro East Outlet Store has many discounted display slash outlet items that are cheaper than they originally cost. Ikebukuro also has some of the best stalls to buy fashion items. Tobu Department Store Ikebukuro and Cebu Ikebukuro Mall attract wealthy shoppers. On the other hand, Sunshine City has attracted a lot of young people with its numbers of fashion stores. Ikebukuro is very accessible, located next to Shinjuku. Akihabara Akihabara is a district in Tokyo known as the otaku capital of the world and offers everything from manga books to anime figurines. There's a lot of electronics in Akihabara, it's the biggest market of them in all of Japan. The first choice for shopping in Akihabara would be Yodabashi Akaba. The huge department store offers a wide range of electronic products from PC, cameras and audios to books and toys. There are also other large department stores, such as Softmap and Big Camera Akaba. Akihabara is great for electronics, but you may have to do a bit of hunting. Radio Center and Radio Kaiken are both good places to start looking for electronic components. For used Apple products, Janpara offers a great number of iPhones, Mac, iPad at very reasonable rates. Mandarake is the perfect place to go if you're into the cool Japan culture. They have loads of rare anime and manga goods on offer. If you love watching anime or playing video games, anime and gamers is the perfect place for you. 
They sell merchandise related to your favorite anime, games and even have a large assortment of goods in all forms, CDs, DVDs and more. Akihabara can easily be reached from the Tokyo and Ginza stations. It is a great place to see some of Japan's unique culture, so if you want to visit it make sure not to miss it. Shibuya and Harajuku Both areas Shibuya and Harajuku are well-known tourist spots in Tokyo. The two districts are closely related to many different types of popular culture, pop culture and kawaii culture. In Shibuya, Center Gay is the best shopping street, with a wide range of international brands including Forever 21 at the six-storied building in yellow. Other well-known shops are Zara's sister shop Bershka on the fourth floor. Speaking of trends, then Shibuya 109 is the place to go. It's a great shopping destination for teenagers with a mid-range price tag. Meanwhile, at the other end of the station is another department store named Haikari. Harajuku has a street where teenagers will love the shops, Takashita Street. There's no shortage of affordable stores and boutiques, which is perfect for people on a budget. Omoto Sando Street is a popular shopping street that runs beside Takashita Street. Three well-known department stores line this street, La Fore Harajuku, Omoto Sando Hills and Tokyo Plaza Omahara. Harajuku has lots of vintage clothes stores too. Wigo is one of the cheapest ones, and it's a great place to pick up second-hand clothes if you're on a budget. If you're looking for the latest fashion in Tokyo, then Shibuya and Harajuku are a good place to start. If you are coming to Tokyo, let us know in the comments where would you want to stay and what would you like to do. If you want to know more about Japan, please like, subscribe and activate the notifications so you don't miss any of our further videos. Thanks for watching.